bonjour or bonsoir already, I don't know. Je vous remercie for cette conference magnifique. And the conference is usually about community and about socializing much more than about technical stuff, let's agree. So today I want to present for you part of my community, which is Ukrainian one. My name is Olga. I'm in engineering uh, about 10 years. Some of them in this Scala. Some of them been teaching Scala in university. I wasn't in Scala Ukraine community from the uh, very beginning, when st it started like a decade ago, but uh, we have our pass uh, through a lot of events. We have great Scala UR conference, we have regular online offline meeting in different city, and we have started uh, teaching Scala in university back in 2012, so on the uh, early stage, I will say. And everything uh, was pretty good uh, till COVID hit all of us, I will say, and it was worse of time. It was worse of time, as you can remember. And fast forward to a few years, we come back to life, most of us survived, uh, and we come back to life as usual, with conferences in person and stuff, but then when I say it we, I mostly say it you, because we in Ukraine didn't have this chance, and with Russia start full invasion in 2022, our community development for obvious reasons stopped. And um, as you can imagine, in early 2022, we haven't uh, in our priority list anything related to Scala or community building. But strangely enough, it survived. And if it survived, uh, then you should do something without it. And you should do something without, with it, uh, within the consequences that you have and within the dangerous challenges that you have. And when I say challenges, I'm not only talking about uh, literal uh, dangerous to be killed, but you should take in account like context on where people are now, talking about uh, mental state, psychological state, uh, moral state, and also, let's be honest, financial state. So community start to rebuild with simple steps, and uh, one of successful steps was create common channel to communicate, because before we have these channels like city-wise, with community in Kyiv, Odessa, Kharkiv, we created one channels, one group which will be enter point to community, with a lot of channels for newcomers, for experienced engineers, and uh, when you want to join the Ukrainian scholar community, you know where to go straight away. Also, we start participated again, I would say, with uh, many activities, like two students from Ukraine participated in Scala Google Summer Code this year, been mentoring by Novel Welsh and uh, Ruslan Shevchenko, you may have heard about them, so also Ukrainian mentor, and it uh, was successful international communication. Also, what we have tried, tried we tried to restart regular, obviously, online meetups. And first one was quite successful, but second one never happened. And then within my company, we also tried to launch this webinar to invite people and talk about Scala. But it also didn't move on after first one because they asked me if I can make it regular. I asked why. They said to relaunch community within our company. But the answer is you cannot be hero of the day every other Friday. You cannot prepare this talk like every week. So the problem is we move too big too soon. And usually we take this approach for building community from top to down, organizing conferences and stuff. But sometimes, especially in our circumstances, it's a good idea to start the opposite. To start with creation something small, like you do when you grow your garden, and then go wild depends on how good you are doing. And for this you need just a few simple ingredients, like you need someone to lead it, mentor, moderator, whatever. You need some subject to communicate about to build community. And also key factor is regularity. It should be constant and it should be in the same place. And this is how I pitched this idea about my Scala book club. Sometimes you go to date for Michelin restaurants, example this conference, but sometimes you just need lunch. Simple lunch in the same place at the same type, 
with the same expected menu, and books are perfect uh, for that because chapter by chapter they give you what you will talk about. And uh, you should play by rules, and we have only one rule for our book club, it cannot be cancelled, and that's it. Strangely enough, when you have only one rule, it takes a lot of explanation for it. Because when people start joining, they would ask me, actually it's book club, shouldn't we put in the rules that we should read a book? It's turned out that 80% of my constant visitors to book club haven't read a page through all this time, and we're still quite good with it. So you show up, you are part of community, it's totally fine. For me, as a moderator and mentor, of course, I have uh, much more requirements, so actually I read book because I should talk about something with people. But when we say something about community leader, you expect a person with a lot of, uh, you know, abilities and stuff. The truth is, there is, if you imagine a Venn diagram, there is a huge circle with people who can be community leader. And inside this huge circle is a big circle of people who will be much better than you in this. And you will happily provide them all of this possibility. But then it's a small circle for people who agree to do this. And it's a tiny circle inside of people who agree to do this, given these circumstances, uh, rules, uh, placement, whatever. And when this circle is much, you have two or three people who are ready to apply for this job, uh, mostly voluntarily. So if you are the one, take care of yourself, do not overwork, and uh, believe that you are enough if you're doing that. So it's all that required also to show up and to talk with people. With this approach, we achieve already 45 meetings, and uh, um, also we have three talks uh, provided by people who talk for first time, so it's new speakers. And we have read five books so far. We started six one last Wednesday. Sometimes we have pleasure to meet authors of books. So it's a part that you can be a community member, but you also can be community guest, and we are happy to invite them. As you can see, it's quite, quite a fun. Also, we have this rule that we try to invite people in person, not groups, because we believe that it will be easier if someone assimilates in our group, and we do not uh, put some additional advertisement of, about this community or something. It's just friends invite friends. And with this, we have already people from five countries join us, so it's work pretty good. And also, um, what is very important when it started within your company, talk from the beginning that you're not only available to bring people from outside, but when someone leaves your company, they leave company, but they can stay in your community. And this gives us this anchor of stability that we miss so much when we're going from job to job, from country to country. It's not necessarily that your involvement in the book club should end with your engagement with company where you organize it. Uh, also, it's uh, easy to collect feedback from the people. We do not make forms. We try to be as informal as possible, to be honest. So what I do when people stop coming, I just go and message them and ask what is going on. And it could be all different kind of answer. You cannot react on all of them because, for example, you cannot compete with Jim's schedule. Let's be honest. But on something, you can get feedback and react somehow. And when we move for more theoretical books, I would say, the problem all was that people say we have not so much Scala in our Scala book club. So I tried to invent something new, and we tried to make a kind of pet project on which we work together. It's failed dramatically. With what it learns us, when you fail, fail fast. It doesn't work, forgot about it. So we have a few you know, insider jokes and it's good, but it doesn't work, so forget about it. Next thing that we tried, it was actually Scala breaks, which, which I call it. So sometimes we uh, take some random topic and it could be that someone tweets something, or you go to job interview and get the uh, interesting task. Or you watch some interesting talk and you just come and speak about it instead of going through some chapter. And it's actually um, work pretty well. People enjoy it and it doesn't require a lot of preparation from you. Uh, 
What we have in the future, because it's quite nice to have some plans for the future, uh, we want to participate in some open source. It still do not get so naturally in uh, our pipeline, so we're waiting when we will be ready. Maybe not next Monday, but we keep that in mind, and uh, as I said, it's good to have some plan for the future. And as with all community, what is important is people. And this is Ukrainian community, so if you join, I should warn you that um, for some things we could look strange for you. Because there are a few people who are joining and attending uh, like, um, weeks of meetings without saying a word. I still like them very much haven't seen some of them, and at some point they start speaking and turn out that they were listening all this time actually, but they just didn't have anything to add. So I'm very good to talking with myself, even in these meetings, and it's work, it's fine. Also, if you worked with people from Eastern Europe, you will know they, they will not turn on the camera if they not ask it explicitly, as I did for this one photo that I made. So I'm very good with speaking with pictures as well. It's also fine Do not think that they ignore you. But uh, it's people behind the screen, and if you have a chance, you should try to meet them in person. Even it's require, you know, traveling a lot because we are all over the world now. Um, it's turning out we do not make a lot of pictures as well, so it's our another signature move. But uh, actually, it's always fun to communicate to discuss something in personal. And last but not least, what I learned that money is actually not so good motivation in this matter, but what works good is um, something like simple present. It could be a sticker or something, or something that shows your appreciation of with people you work uh, of people you work with. So we're not as speakers, I would say, but you can bring something that shows that. Uh, 2,000 uh, kilometers away, you're still thinking about them. For example, if you're trying to read out what is this, it's autograph of Martin Odersky for our community. And it's kind of showing that uh, they are supporting us, they are with us, they care about us. So it's uh, give you some value and some feedback. It, it was very nice of him. Um, last but not least, if you do not have tiny community in your company, you know, little one, and you've seen about organizing it, what you should do, you just should go to your manager and ask if you could invite some Scala friends to your kitchen. And given Wi-Fi, given coffee, and few Scala engineers, you just need to observe, it's always converged to some project or something. So it's not as difficult as you imagine. And from your company, involvement, not even with money, with just providing uh, space that you already help, uh, that you already have can help a lot for building community. So do not be afraid to start something for yourself if you do not know, do not have your community itself. And if you join, want to join our community, this is our GitHub page to rule it all. So with this uh, QR code, you can find all information about Ukrainian Scallop community, about our open source project, our meetups. And if you want to join my book club uh, as a guest or as a member, just reach me out and I will send link for you. And if you have any questions, I'm ready to answer right now. Thank you. Thank you so much for this uh, very interesting talk. Uh, so I have a technical question. So it seems that you are meet meeting on Zoom, right? Is it, is it your Zoom room? Uh, do you have to be present for the meetings? Is it, do you manage to have a shared Zoom room? How, how does it work technically? 
it's not my Zoom, it's in my company, so unfortunately it teams, but we have constant meeting per book. For first, we think that would be one, me one link for all the time, then we decided that we should remind about ourselves time after time. So when we start new book, we uh, send the invite for the people, and if I cannot join, other people can join anyway and start without me. So I'm like not uh, requirement for this meeting. Okay, and, and do you participate in all the meetings? Do you try to be there all the time, or does it not matter um, for you whether... Um... I skip one meeting when I was on uh, Scala days, because it was in, in the plan, literally. Other than that, I participate in all meetings, and I read everything, because as moderator, I should provide information for people to speak about. But uh, it's me, it's few other people. Most people just show up because we speak about the matters that they already know or they, I just uh, say that what I have read uh, during the week and then we discuss it. Sometimes they show some example and say, you know, guys, I couldn't run it. It doesn't work for some reasons. Can you help me? And we just, you know, solving some puzzles and stuff. Thank you. Um, a question, how much of your personal time do you dedicate to uh, managing the community? Um, it's only me who doing like managing stuff and organizing stuff. And uh, it's like I try not to overwork on it because it's marathon, not sprint. So for me, if a book is difficult, I read it on weekend and it's all that require. If it's simple, I just read the evening before and it's all required, and then you message people time after time to check how they are doing, and it's all, it's like a few hours a week, it's not so much. It's Thank you. mostly self-organized community. Hi, and thanks for the talk. Have you ever uh, shared the strategy you apply for Scala for, with uh, people in other technology? And do you share that with uh, people who work on Python or anything? So that, so that they, they can apply the same strategy than you and keep close? Um, okay, um, talking about Python, Python, I'm not a fan of dynamically typing languages. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. So we have some limits, but people can join. We just uh, like choose some book, read it, and it give us some topics. And often people from Java community actually come to us, or, or else we have people from architecture community. So when we're discussing something uh, like uh, building an application, data-driven application, they join us. Sometimes people from uh, Go community or the one who interested in, in Rust show up to ask if we are interested to change our community to Rust community. We also deny it. So everyone welcome, but we will talk about uh, our book and about Scala anyway. Thank you for your questions and for your attention. See you around. <laughs>